Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jules, here for What Culture Gaming, joined by the ever blossoming flower that is Rachel Shackleton. Too kind, too kind. And today we've got something a little bit special for you, lovely people out there, because while I might look like an absolute pro athlete at the moment and definitely not just trying to hide a green t shirt that I'm wearing, I also love anime. Now, I like Dragon Ball Z, I like Naruto, I like Bleach, I like One Piece. And One Piece has just got a brand new game that's come out. So what I thought we'd do today is <laughs> unbox this super special. It's called the Pirate King edition of this game. Now, I, good. now are you a fan of One Piece? I am going to be completely honest. I've never seen it. That is absolutely <laughs> fine. Which I've is heard good. of it. It's everywhere, but like I've never seen it. But this is good because it means that you can act as a sort of like test audience for people yeah. who might not have a clue what it is <laughs> we're talking about. Basically, it is a fantastic anime that focuses around a group of pirates called the Straw Hats and their captain, who is an absolute boy, but also <laughs> falls into the category of being an extremely dumb protagonist who doesn't really understand what's going on and loves Sounds fighting. Sounds like an anime, yeah. He's He's very much like Goku in that in that sense of mindset yeah. of just want to fight and have a good time. He's called Luffy and he basically runs the show and he is he's very fun. But his special power is is that he can extend his body like elastic. Okay. Because he eat, eats this thing called the Devil Fruit and right. It's ironic in the sense that it gives you superpowers, but it means that you can't swim. Which means that being a pirate probably wouldn't be the first thing that you want to be. That, a swim instructor, and maybe an accountant, probably on the very low tier <laughs> list of things you'd want after eating that. Superhero okay, though. Right, it definitely sounds like it could be a pretty good anime. Oh, it's it's hilarious, it's funny, it's really well animated as well, and the characters are just insane. Like on his current crew that he's got, he's got a multi-sword wielding, like, um, I, I want to say samurai, but that's not the right term, the swordsmith. I don't know if there's a sword boy. Sword boy, yeah. Then you've got like a living skeleton, and you've got uh, a tiny little antler-headed plush toy. It's 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 utter <laughs> it's utterly bizarre. Hence why I was so excited when our boy Shez from uh, Bandai Namco hey. sent this over. So what we're going to do is unbox this for you, lovely people, right now. Uh, I actually don't know what's come in this one, okay. but I do know that the price will be on screen right now. Which I also don't know. I make a habit of not knowing the price uh, because I want to be genuinely impressed by what uh -huh. or what isn't in there. Without comparing it to Exactly, the numbering, yeah. exactly. Even though some people might argue that that's not the right way to do it, you should know exactly how much it is. But weirdly, we've got two boxes in here. Okay, I'm going to give you that one. Pirate treasure. And I'm going to take this one, which I assume would have the game in. Shez has warned us that the game is not in this one because he sent me a code for it for oh, the okay. for the other thing. So don't be dis don't be disheartened. <laughs> and there's also some other bits in here, but we'll go through that. I think so that's first off, quite a lot these days, you get a collector's edition without a game in it, but this one's yeah. meant to have a game in it. It meant to have the game I'll in it. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is actually pretty. Funky. I just like the box itself. Anything that's got good storage capacity is fantastic. Were you a cat in a past life? Oh, honestly. I just love a good box. So I've just spent the, the, a long week uh, down with my missus and just like playing around with her two cats has been absolutely- Okay, you were playing with her- All right, cat. this, this, this again. All right, okay. It doesn't help hey, that one- you can right, give it, right. but you can't take it, mate. It, it, it doesn't help that one of her cats is actually called Beaver. So when I just say like, I'm playing with my girlfriend's hey. Beaver, it, it's, it's just, just- This is an unboxing video with Jules, for goodness sake. I will, I will- <laughs> You, you get your mind out of the gutter <laughs> and into the pirate life. Okay, here we go. Get so, into the water. What is this phenomenon? Oh, it's like a plaque. Oh, that's Oh, cute. it is. It's, it's actually a... It's a really high quality print that you get for just basically... I'm, I'm assuming it's a custom piece of artwork directly for... Mm -hmm. In fact, I know it is because the two characters that are featured on the front here are two brand new characters that have been introduced just specifically for this storyline. Oh, so that's awesome. So one of them is uh, the antagonist. I, I wonder which one is that. It's probably definitely the guy who's trying to... Definitely check in the foreground. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and the other one, I'm not sure what her name is uh, yet, but she looks like she's praying. And I think that she would be praying to not be hit by the giant rocket I fist. I think that's a very good guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So we'll get... <laughs> and then we've got this. As well, which is I'll Cloth tell you what you you have you been up that cloth map. Oh, actually, it's got a press kit which uh, explains uh, exactly what One Piece World Seeker is all about. And you know oh, what? I'm go. just going to read this off for a bit of banter in case you're thinking of picking up the game as well. Play Luffy as never before, take on the role of Luffy and use his gum gum fruit abilities to investigate the mysteries of the island. Experience a freedom unquelled, un unequaled even. That's not a word. Unquelled anyway. Unquelled? in a One Piece game and utilize Luffy's hacky moves depending on your situation. That's pretty cool. And you can face, these are the three points that they've gone for, by the way. 
Play as Luffy as never before. Face strong enemies. <laughs> and discover an exclusive new One Piece adventure. And the two new people are... Isaac, who is the guy with the giant fisty okay. boy. And the other one is called... Straw hat dropped an anchor. I'm struggling with this, like, it's really soft. Jean. Jean is the other new person. Oh, there we go. Girl Jean. What is it then? It's super soft. Look at it. It's a nice cloth map map of Prison Island. Ooh, that is quite good, actually. I would eat. It's so soft. <laughs> oh, is it actually? Is it, is it a bib? I would eat. I was going to say, I'd, I'd eat off of it because it looks very clean. I'm sorry if this is causing rustling noises, but that is, <laughs> that's good. I mean, you could use that to wipe your monitor with. You could just have it just up on there. I think you could have it as a, pin it to the wall. You could have it, as, have, it, have it as an actual flag. I mean, if we had any sellotape here, I'd probably suggest that we added it like a cape. You could use it for a flag for your actual pirate ship. Oh, yes. For sale, sorry, for sale. We should give it to Phil because he has an actual boat. Phil does have a boat. Right, it's now a pirate ship. Yeah. He's not really rich, by the way. He actually just lives on a boat. <laughs> Which actually does still make him sound rich. Anyway, right, <laughs> open up this one here. Okay. And I will uh, open this up one up after oh, you've done Oh, God, that. Jules, we've got tape. You didn't tell me there'd be tape. Oh, dear. Do we need to get out the uh, tape song? It's okay. I'm woman. I'm Unbox the box. <laughs> get rid of the tape. Da -da 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 -da. I'll keep on singing. Da -da. I probably should have thought about some rhyme schemes for that. <laughs> I really kind of bailed out of that one again. I'm sorry. That's so okay. once we get into this, we'll find out what's in here. But I know that there's meant to be some sort of figurines and collectibles, which is quite common again for uh -huh. um, unboxing. Oh, oh okay. wow. Okay. Right, I'm going to do it this way. Is that what I think? Is that the devil's fruit? Oh, hot dog on a log on a frog. That is cool. What is this? So that's so that's the devil's fruit that he eats that's basically given him his uh, rubbery powers. Okay. Oh, I want to get in this. This is a big rubbery fruit. Oh, I want to get in this. Wow, man beaten by tape. That makes me look strong. Come on. Yes, hands. I feel like I really need this to be squishy. Take that, evolutionary theorists. I'm using my hands with my fingers it's, it's late in the day it's late in the day i've got nothing here we go Ooh. oh it's, it's not rubber it's not Aww. it's not rubber but it is bloody beautiful got a little stand for it there right get rid of that plastic let's pop this on here that is so cool it is exactly the type of high quality weirdness that I expect from collector's editions. That's a good point, actually. That's something you can't just go on eBay and buy. I want a big... Big gum gum fruit. Gum yeah. gum big fruit. Good. Ridiculous. Right, okay, so I'm going to open up the actual other side of the box as well. Oh, God, there's more, there's more tape, isn't there? Bloody hell. Shez, next time you send one of these over, mate. Do us a favour and get rid of all the tape. Uh... But then that would involve already opening it and then we wouldn't have the joy of unboxing it. This is very true. This is very true. I should watch what I wish for. <laughs> but in terms of the presentation quality, nice quality boxes, nothing's been damaged in transit. This is very clean. My we... cape is very clean as well. <laughs> I was like, where'd the map go? In fact, actually, why don't you tell people about where you can go on the map? So you can go, if you like, to... Around Prison Island, you can go to Emerald Town, Cannon Island, Emery Plaza, Steel City Radio Tower, Halcyon Port Naval Base, Crystal Canyon. I love the fact that you've gone more Scottish. <laughs> you went more Scottish than went on. Is this it is when you so because when you speak normally to I'm like a me, and as soon as we when the uh, when you do voice services, you go full Scottish. I just wanted to be a pirate. Okay, Jules, don't trash my dreams. Okay, uh, this is the other thing. There was a, there's actually two models in okay. this, and this is the second one. This of Luffy basically springing around. That is really high quality. So full of joy. Do you want to, do you want to oh, get that out? Sure, I'll get the tape for you, Jules. Thank you. Yeah, I don't want another embarrassing for all that I just had there. So is there something specific about this game that like makes, like obviously I've seen other One Piece games mm -hmm. in the past. Is there something like sort of special about this one, a new mechanic or something? So or? the whole concept of this one is about sort of freedom of exploration because uh, most other, if not all anime games tend to focus on the fighting aspects yeah, of it. Yeah, totally. Um, Jump Force try to in integrate like a sort of more story uh, heavy thing into that. And that's been sort of like mixed success with that. But this is sort of uh, going out on its own to, so to speak, and is uh, becoming a f action RPG that has sort of open world elements. Kind of like Nino Kuni. Yeah, and I think that what happens is, is that uh, he has crashed on the island, or there is some reason to go there. Maybe there's treasure. Maybe there's some ba big bad evil that he wants to defeat. Maybe or maybe the fact, or maybe the, the fact that it's called Prison Island yeah, means that there's uh, something <laughs> bad there that's going on. 
and is his little stand. you can actually explore all of this and not just by going from level to level you can uh, use your um, uh, ele your elastic ability to actually grab and oh. move like spider-man through the world I so like that. that's a really fun ability that, like it would be a fun ability to have in a video game definitely oh yeah I mean if you were a super if you could eat any type of gum gum fruit what fruit would it be like what power would you want oh well I, I always say I would want flight I feel like flight is the best superpower that but being stretchy be. would be a close second well the stretchiness actually like he's uh, adapted well beyond the means of just being stretchy boy he actually can now <laughs> sort of like harden his uh, limbs into sort of like metal almost or, or a, a, a material that's incredibly strong and durable so he can like punch people with a giant iron springy fist he can mm -hmm. also uh, be shot and not take any damage his leg all protected. I love that he's like his leg is the extra protection there and uh, oh. He can. He doesn't really take falling damage. He's just. He's just a boy, oh, that is, that is and he looks cool as well, doesn't he? He looks really fun and carefree. He's just so joyful. I love that. Although I, I don't feel comfortable sticking this right up inside him, Go but on, you know what? Up his butt. Go on. It's not even in his butt. I think it's like it's in the it's in the danger zone. It's in the taint. <laughs> Look at me! I wouldn't. I would not be making that. That if somebody was shoving a clear pipe up in my ear. Uh, oh, for goodness' sake! <laughs> up my. Back passage, That's right? Really interesting. It's normally obviously you'd get a you'd, nice. you'd expect a wee statue in a collector's edition, but you get two. Two, yeah. You get your map. Is that is that it? Is that all? That's all of the bits and bobs that you get in the uh, thing. Cool. But that the quality of this uh, model is fantastic, actually. Like the. I love it when they choose interesting poses for these <laughs> because it's so atypical to just go like, here's a guy standing here, just going looking off into the distance like that, whatever. I mean, we probably that's just... what the model of you is like. Oh on yeah, that Lassie's shrine. Yeah, it's just you, just standing teepos. I mean, I wish that they hadn't made it out of ham. It has made yeah. that they have to replace it every single week because the local dogs have a chew on it. It does start to smell a bit, but anyway. I think that's a pre-existing condition of anything <laughs> that has my sort of uh, features on it. Any T-shirt that you buy, for example, comes drenched oh, in sweat. My Goodness. Comes drenched in sweat. I cannot help that. I'm really sorry. It's just because it goes across my desk. Sweat. Sorry. Yeah, so fantastic pose that they've chosen here. High quality resin that they look like they've made. Yeah, that's, it's yeah. a nice touch even like if uh, if I can show this later on. It's even like they've managed to put his flip flop coming away from his foot so like that it shows that. like a sort of degree of motion. Yeah, I like that. Little things. Fantastic quality that. So all of this can be yours if you buy the, and I'm gonna get this right, the One Piece World Seeker Pirate King Edition. To get yourself a nice cape slash fabric map, a nice piece of artwork, a devil fruit. A big old squishy fruit that is not actually squishy. It would be, I would say that's probably the only downside to this entire yeah, unboxing is that I- squishy enough. Imagine if it was like a stress reliever. Oh, that'd be so good. Yeah, you because you would just want to just squeeze it. Then you're like, Arr! But to also answer your, the question that I posed before about flight, I want teleportation. Yeah. Because only because my missus lives down in Wales. Oh, Jules, it would be it would so be so noble. I mean, flight would get you down there a little faster. Also. True, but I don't want to have to wait in the traffic on the A1. I don't want to freeze to death though, as That's well, because if you go if once you go high, obviously the temperature drops down. <laughs> and obviously, I and I've just been climbing, right? Went mountain climbing, went up to Snowdon, 50 mile an hour winds on top of there. You can imagine what the temperature was like. I came down looking like a blo I looked I looked about this. This was the shade of my skin coming down. Imagine this, actually. That was me. Ta-da. <laughs> anyway, so as always, I've been Jules. If you think that you're going to pick this up, you can check down below. There's probably some links and some prices for how much it actually costs altogether. Thank you so much, Shez, and to Bandai Namco for sending this over. And if you want to follow us on Twitter and have a bit more of a chat about all things Collector's Edition and One Piece World Seeker, then you can do so at RetroJ with a zero and... If you want to just tell me more about One Piece, because now I'm suddenly interested, for goodness sake, <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me at Don't Rage Quit. But until then, thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, you have been awesome. And we'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.